on September 28, 2022, Rakuten Medical announced the establishment of its new subsidiary in India, Rakuten Medical Private Limited. Rakuten Medical has offices in six countries, with its headquarters based in the United States. The new India office plans to develop and commercialize medical treatments, beginning with head and neck cancer, based on Rakuten Medical's innovative Aluminox platform. To mark this announcement, in late September, Mickey and members of Rakuten Medical visited Tata Memorial Center and other respected medical institutions in India. They also met Indian government officials, including the Deputy Chief Minister of the State of Maharashtra and the Secretary of India's Department of Biotechnology to exchange views and opinions on Rakuten Medical's technology. India has a significant number of cancer patients, with head and neck cancer accounting for about 30% of all cancer cases in the country. In addition, India accounts for approximately 26% of all head and neck cancer cases globally. Many patients suffer from advanced forms of the cancer, corresponding with high mortality rates. We have uh, done over I think, 17 meetings using 48 hours. Uh, we met many surgeons, visited many hospitals, had a meeting with many uh, politicians and government officials, and uh, unmet need, uh, and for also the uh, you know kind of uh, demand for what we are developing is unbelievably strong and a huge opportunity, and we can save many many people. Dr. Sudhir Nair of the Tata Memorial Center had this to say when he recently visited Japan. And a lot of patients have advanced cancers, very advanced cancers. They may not be amenable for treatment by traditional treatment modalities like surgery, radiotherapy, or chemotherapy. We would like to explore that possibility and see how it will benefit the patients in India. Expectations continue to rise for Rakuten Medical's global expansion to further develop cancer treatments and help patients conquer cancer. <laughs>